Hello everyone. This is Amit Arora from EcoVisioner. Today I'll be discussing with you the most expected topics of microeconomics of class 11th. I assure you if you cover all these questions, you will surely excel in your final examination. We have four units in microeconomics: introduction, consumer behavior and demand, producers behavior and supply, price determination and market form. In market form, we just have to do perfect competition. So first unit is for four marks, second for 15, third for 15, and fourth unit is just for six marks. Starting with the first unit, introduction. We have to cover three topics, central problems of an economy, what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce. We should also be able to identify the problems. Second most important one is the production possibility curve or frontier or transformation curve. The question can be asked on the shift or growth of resources or it can be asked how these conditions will uh, affect the ppc for example if they ask how will how has covid 19 affected the ppc of an economy so it has led to death and destruction so it will lead to leftward shift how will make in india affect the production possibility curve so it will lead to the rightward shift in ppc so you have to understand two things if any of the changes lead to uh, increase in resources like we just found uh, lithium reserves in India in Jammu and Kashmir. So this will surely lead to the rightward shift in the PPC and if there is also improvement in technology. So two factors will lead to rightward shift and the opposite will lead to the leftward. And students one more thing if there is a question saying that employment generation by the government Many students write it will lead to the rightward shift. No, it is not. If there is unemployment, we are operating inside the PPC. So therefore, we will move towards. So your answer will be there will be no shift in PPC due to any uh, employment generating scheme. We will move towards the PPC. And last topic which we have to cover in the first unit is calculation of MOC, marginal opportunity cost or marginal rate of transformation. That is delta Y by delta X, sacrifice of Y to gain X. So this unit is for four marks. Coming to the second very important unit, we have two parts in it. One talks about consumer's equilibrium and the other talks about demand and elasticity of demand. So in consumer's equilibrium, we have to cover law of diminishing marginal utility, which is the base of all the other questions. Then we have to cover very, very important students. Second point here is very, very important. You can have questions on one commodity case, two commodity case using cardinal approach versus utility approach and two commodity case using indifference curve approach which is also called ordinal or Hicksian approach and uh, if you don't get the theory question you will get a numerical on consumers equilibrium or a numerical on budget line budget equation budget line equation or budget set properties of indifference curve also has to be covered so there are four properties of ic curve which you have to cover in this one is it is downward sloping from left to right. It is convex to the origin. Two ICs never intersect and higher IC shows higher level of satisfaction. The second part of unit two, which you have to cover the very important ones, how, what, what factors affect the demand for a commodity, rightward or leftward shifts, then change in quantity demanded and change in demand or extension contraction or increase or decrease. Why does demand curve slope downward? Surely, surely you will get a uh, numerical on uh, elasticity of demand, be it percentage method or expenditure method. Expenditure method has been added again this year. So there's a chance that you get uh, expenditure method numerical also. And last is factors affecting elasticity of demand. How elastic is the commodity? Various factors will tell you how elastic. So five topics you have to cover in demand and elasticity of demand. Coming to the third unit, which is also 15 marks. We have to cover the first chapter production in which you have to cover fixed and variable factors and then the law of variable proportion. Law of variable proportion is a sure shot question. Sure shot means there are 95% chances that this question is there in your paper, final paper. Similarly, the same, uh, if you have done law of variable proportion, you have done the third question also, which is the relationship between TP and MP and it's preferable when you write the relationship you also give the diagrams then explicit and implicit cost with their meanings or might you can they can give you a numerical also 
फिफ्थ अगेन फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एम सी ए सी और ए बी सी यू हैव टू बी वेरी श्योर अबाउट द ग्राफ बिकॉज देर कैन बी ट्रू और फॉल्स और रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो बेस्ड ऑन दीज रिलेशनशिप अगेन अ श्योर शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन इज न्यूमेरिकल ऑन कॉस्ट एंड वाई आर दीज कर्व एम सी और ए सी यू शेप्ड कर्व योर आंसर हैज टू बी लॉ ऑफ वेरिएबल प्रपोर्शन then we have only one uh, approach in producers equilibrium that is uh, mr mc approach and the condition is where mr is equal to mc and mc is rising there can be a numerical on this or there can be a diagram which can be asked come to the second part of unit 3 unit 3 is supply and elasticity of supply the second part of unit 3 same as demand the law is different but all the topics are just same as demand so factors affecting supply of a commodity which factor will lead to right left extension or contraction change in quantity supply due to price a change in supply due to other factors then we are expecting a numerical on elasticity of supply the same formula as demand coming to the last unit which is of 6 marks we are expecting a uh, market equilibrium where demand and supply are equal this is micro situation of excess demand or excess supply how it comes back to uh, the equilibrium point and very very important third question again third topic again is a sure shot question effect of change in demand or supply or both on the equilibrium price for example if there is a rightward shift in demand uh, the price will go up and when the supply increases the price goes down and there are many cases there are 8 to 12 cases which can be asked in this question last important topic from the price determination it is government intervention that is price ceiling to safeguard the consumer and price support or minimum price ceiling to safeguard the producer and their implications features of perfect competition can also be asked that is the only topic in market forms so this chapter this unit is total of 6 marks so we are expecting a 4 marker and two 1 mark questions so 4 15 15 and 6 comes to 40 and students for class 11th free study material before your exam if you want to practice some tests download the ecovisioner app and also if you want online coaching for economics class 12th you can call my number 9891203546 for a trial class all the best for your exams god bless